what up youtube it's me it's me it's your favorite today um i'm doing this live so bear with me it might be absolutely rubbish um i'm doing a special vlog today on the fact that it's wrestlemania weekend and um yeah it's gonna take up most of my weekend also i felt like crap today i didn't get many clips in and what i've got was pretty crap so i thought i would do predictions for uh, Wrestlemania this Sunday um, there's 30 matches in total I haven't done a preview um, of any of the wrestling for a while because I've, I personally found them boring so I thought I'd try this soon as I didn't have much for today the normal vlog will be back tomorrow um, I've got a jumble sale and I'll hopefully get to the charity shops as well tomorrow so yeah, WrestleMania is this Sunday on the WWE Network, so um, anyway, it's not subscribed, why not, you should be, and get on it, right, the first match is Neville versus Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight Championship, um, this should be a brilliant match, it, I think it's going to be in the kickoff show, um, I predict Neville will win, um, he's been doing brilliant on 205 Live on the network, and it's Austin Aries' first big time match. I can't imagine he's going to win the Cruiserweight title straight away. So, straight away, victory to Neville. Uh, second match, Andre the Giant Battle Royal. A lot of people in this, too many names to mention. But I think they've got to give it the Big Show. I think Big Show thought he was going to get a big payoff this year and get Shaq. And Shaq let him down. So, unless Shaq shows up in this, hopefully they'll be surprised. So, I'll go Big Show. Tag team match, a ladder match um, between the club, Big Cass um, and Enzo versus Sheamus and Cesaro. Um, I'm going to go with Big Cass and Enzo on this. It's been a year since they debuted. Um, yeah, I can't see anybody else. I know a few predictions have said the club winning it. Uh, that would be my close second, but... I've got to go with Big Cass and Enzo. Should be a good match, a nice ladder match, even though not many of them have done ladder matches before. Next match is the SmackDown Women's title match. Uh, I'm going to go with Naomi coming back after injury um, on SmackDown Friday night. Uh, this should be a really good match. I don't know how they're going to work it. Maybe all the people in the ring at the same time. Not 100%. Uh, the next match will be the Intercontinental title match between Dean Ambrose and Baron Corbin. Now, I'm not sure if this is a now disqualification match. I'm not 100%, but I'm going to go with Ambrose because he was WWE champion for so long. They've got to give him that standing, um, you know, the victory stance. Right, this next match I thought should have been the main event. Should have been for the Universal title. Um, I think Jericho should have won the Rumble. Uh, I think it was the the obvious progression to a storyline. Um, but, you know, I'm not a billionaire who owns the company. So, it ended up Owens losing his title to Goldberg, which was mind-blowing. And then this has kind of been blown off into kind of nothing there, really, into the US title match. But I think they will be trying to steal the show I know everybody else will be but I think this will be the match to watch but I'm going to go with Kevin Owens winning uh, the Raw Women's Championship match elimination four way didn't say that on the image um, I'm not sure about this I think the last two will probably be maybe Bailey and Sasha and then Bailey ends up winning that's what I'm going to go with because I don't think, you know, they're teasing the fact that Sasha is going to end up turning her back on her. I don't see it happening at WrestleMania. But yeah, I'm going to go with Bailey winning this one. Uh, should be a good one. Next match, AJ Styles versus Shane McMahon. Now, I know a lot of people are badgering this match and not particularly looking forward to it. It doesn't really make sense. Um, I think it was just they didn't have nothing for AJ Styles or Shane McMahon, so they put these two together. Um, I think it's going to be a good match. Obviously, Shane's going to do something that's magnificent. Um, you know, jumping off something or jumping off a terror somewhere. Um, I also think you know AJ is 
you know, he's the greatest wrestler at the minute, so um, I think it will be a top match, and I think there'll be a lot of stunts in it. I think this could be a show scene when people are sleeping on it, but I'm going to go with AJ for the win. Once again, should have been main event with the WWE title. Seth Rollins, Triple H. Uh, this is the non-sanctioned match, so it's going to be more of like a hardcore, no-holds-barred um, type of match. Um, I'm personally going with Triple H winning this, seeing as Seth is injured. And I don't see any sense. This is well. This is one of the matches where I'm, you know, I'm half and half. But I'm gonna go with Triple H. I don't think it makes sense Triple H losing at WrestleMania to basically an injured character. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Triple H. Uh, the next match couldn't care less. John Cena, Nikki Bella, The Miz and Maurice. Maybe if you watch Total Bellas and Total Divas, you'll like this. I'm going to go with Cena and Nikki Bella winning and then probably Cena proposing. Ugh. Yeah, enough about that. Right, the match that I think will end the show and I'm thinking it might be the end of the road for The Undertaker. Now, I don't know about this. If I'm going to say right now, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns beating The Undertaker. Um... Just he's Taker's last match, I think it's going to be, and he's going to give it to Roman Reigns. That's what I think personally. We'll see, but um, this is the most intriguing match for me. Right, next one. Good God, I don't know what's going to happen in this. Goldberg hasn't done what. He's done a twelve-second match. He's done another fifteen-second. No, probably I think it was less than twelve. He was in the rumble for about thirty seconds. Honestly, don't know what's going to happen. Um, probably. I, I honestly don't know. I think there's going to be some shenanigans in this match. If I'm going to make a prediction, I'm going to go with Goldberg. Right, I'm going with Goldberg on a wild show and him retiring the title. We'll see. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm purely sick. Man flu again. Right, this match. Oh, God. Once again, don't know why the WWE title's involved. But, um... Pfft. I'm going to go with Randy Orton winning. Uh, it's just been awful. The setup to this match for me, personally. I don't get the whole... Um, I don't get the whole mystical ashes burning... Awfulness, anyway. Uh, yeah, so WrestleMania this Sunday. I'm looking forward to it. I always look forward to WrestleMania weekend. Um, always, you know, I'll be staying up on Sunday night, so I'll be absolutely useless at work on Monday. But, yeah, I think it'll be alright. I know a lot of people that like wrestling that I normally speak to saying they're not going to be staying up and watching this but I think I will um, I think I think it's going to be an alright card, there's a lot of matches on there which as long as they get time could really steal the show and I think it's got personally I think it's got potential being one of the best ones anyway thanks for watching hopefully the vlog will be back tomorrow but hopefully you've enjoyed this thanks for watching, bye